Is that not one of the most frustrating shots in golf? Topping your fairway wood? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to show you why you're topping it, but more importantly, how you can fix it. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And today I'm going to share with you the reasons why amateur golfers, regular golfers, top their fairway woods and a couple ways to fix it. So let's dive right into it. Now the first thing you gotta understand is when you're hitting a fairway wood off the of ground, the most important thing is controlling where the club hits the ground, okay? Because when you're topping it, you know this already, but the club is hitting the ground or bottoming out behind the ball, all right? And I know you're thinking to yourself, well, Todd, I already know that. Why am I watching this darn video? Well, here's why. Here are the things that control where the club is hitting the ground. And if you're topping your fairway wood, you're doing one of these. So the first one and the most probably common is improper weight shift, all right? So when we swing a fairway wood, what are we looking for? we're looking for maximum distance, right? So a lot of you out there, when you're trying to hit the ball really far, hard, right? You keep your weight on your back foot when you swing forward. And when you keep your weight back, I'll go ahead and demonstrate, here we go. I'm gonna keep my weight shifting back. And when your weight goes back, the bottom of the swing goes back. So the first place you gotta look is where is your weight moving? The bottom of your swing, Okay, with all swings, irons, fairway woods, drive, whatever, will tend to follow where the weight on your feet is. So if I keep my weight back, the bottom of the swing stays back. If I get my weight going forward, see, the bottom of the swing goes forward. So that's the first place you're gonna look, is when you finish your swing, here's the first tip, when you finish your swing, Get your weight going forward, all right? That's tip number one. Now, the second thing that could be causing you to actually top your fairway woods is swing direction, all right? And then I'm gonna give you another one here too with ball position I think is probably the easiest to fix and probably where most of you are at. Swing direction. Now, bear with me because this can get a little complicated, but that's why I got the camera set up here down the line. With a longer club, all right, with a longer club, you stand a little bit further away from the ball. This is a good thing. And we've done a ton of tips on driving and that type of stuff, you should check those out. If you're struggling with your driver, you're topping your driver, check out our stuff. Also, hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend about US Golf TV. We're helping people, I, I get messages from, from Australia and Great Britain and of course the, the, the states, everywhere. So join the family and tell a friend and also be sure to leave a comment or a question because I answer every single one of them. But when you're hitting a longer club, we stand a little further away from the ball. And what a lot of golfers do not know is that when you stand further away from the ball, the tendency is to start to swing the club low and around. Now. Why is that important? When you start to swing the club low and around, the bottom of the swing goes backwards. Let me demonstrate. So if I take my lead arm and I swing it low, see, this is low, right? This is higher, okay? In our system, we call this the vertical line swing system. It's a system designed specifically for what I like to call experienced golfers. It's golfers like me, people over 50, all right? But we talk a lot about that. But when you swing the club low and around, the bottom of the swing goes back. Let me demonstrate, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get my weight going forward because we talked about that, but I'm gonna swing my lead arm low and around. And what will happen is, is that when the club goes low and around, the bottom of the swing goes backward. Okay, so that's tip number two, is feel, it's gonna be a little counterintuitive. And quite frankly, might be different than other instructors are telling you. All right, that's why, I, that's why I developed the vertical line swing because we gotta get good information out there for you. But when you swing it back, don't be afraid to feel like you swing the club a little more straight back and up. Here we go, straight back and up, weight going forward. Oh yeah, best one of the day right there. All right, so those are the first thing. Now, the last one, why you might be topping your fairway woods is, when I say this, you're probably gonna think to yourself, oh my goodness sakes. How could I have possibly just missed that one? It's so simple, and that's ball position. Let's say I'm moving my weight forward. Let's say, you know what, Todd? No, I'm swinging my arms in a good direction. The third component is simply, where did you position the ball? So think about it, when, when we hit a driver, and if you've watched any of my videos on, on, on distance and driving, okay, we tell you to move the ball forward because it's teed up, right? Because you wanna hit the ball 
as the club is swinging in an upward motion. And so what most people unfortunately do is they grab their driver, they grab their fairway wood, they're like, hey, that's a wood, this is a wood, I should set up the same way, right? They're both woods. But the difference is, is a fairway wood, the ball is on the ground. Okay, so you actually need to position the ball so it's more off like the logo on a golf shirt, right? My driver's more up here, okay? My fairway wood's more off the logo on my shirt. So most of you, I'm gonna, here's what you might be doing. You're set up like a driver, ball's up here. You get your weight going forward. You get your lead arm up and high. But because the ball's too far forward, you still top it. So what you can simply do is get the ball off the logo on your shirt. Now it's more positioned where it needs to be. There it is, right down the middle. Understand proper weight shift. Understand where your lead arm should be swinging and understand ball position. If you do these three things, you will never again top a fairway wood.